while moderate AS patients are known to have unfavorable outcomes, these patients are a group that uh, is not recommended for intervention according to the current guidelines. Instead, they're actually suggested to have regular surveillance of echocardiography until they reach the stage of severe aortic stenosis. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Jeru Chow uh, from Mayo Clinic Rochester uh, Echocardiography Lab. And uh, I'm going to introduce this uh, article that we uh, will be published uh, in Mayo Clinic Proceedings in the October issue. So the title is Using Augmented Mean Arterial Pressure to Identify High Mortality Risk Patients with Moderate Aortic Stenosis. Um, and there are many ongoing trials are investigating the potential benefits of doing early intervention in this group of patients, which means try to do either a catheter or surgical intervention on these patients uh, and see if they could benefit uh, from earlier valve replacement or any other kind of interventions. And then um, the question comes into this. So how could we identify patients who can be beneficial uh, to have earlier intervention. And uh, augmented mean arterial pressure, or we will call it AugMAP in the later of these videos, uh, comes in handy. And it's actually a simple and effective marker to risk stratify these patients. Uh, it can be actually calculated from blood pressure parameters as well, uh, along with the mean aortic gradient, only three parameters needed. So that's very simple and straightforward. Uh, so uh, the, the important findings of this article is that OCMAP can risk stratify patients with AS, uh, with moderate AS. Uh, and physiologi uh, physiologically, you can think that OCMAP is a measurement of the global LV contractility in the setting of aortic stenosis. And we're trying to measure how much blood pressure can the LV generate to against the increased after load created by the uh, stenosed, uh, stenosed aortic valve. Uh, generally, we found that uh, a low arc map, uh, which defined as uh, less than 80 millimercury in our study, these patients actually have at least uh, 1.5 fold uh, risk of all cause mortality uh, compared to the patients who had higher uh, arc map, um, uh, which is above 80 millimercury. And we also observed that uh, this is true in different subgroups, including patients with normal uh, LV ejection fraction or low LV ejection fraction. And it is also true in patients with history of uh, uh, CAD, uh, coronary artery disease, or uh, non-heart failure history. Our findings actually uh, provided, uh, provides a potential effective screening marker uh, on the management of moderate aortic stenosis patients. So what, what does this finding mean for patients? Uh, so I, I think it might be a bit early to discuss this before we really investigated the uh, effectiveness of OCMAP uh, in clinical practice. Uh, specifically, we want to know if these patients, uh, some patients defined by OCMAP, are, can can uh, benefit from earlier interventions. For example, uh, if a patient has low uh, ACMAP level, should this patient be uh, operated or intervened early before the patient reaches the uh, stage of severe aortic stenosis? We still need to investigate that in a uh, prospective setting. And uh, we're thinking a couple of next steps on the slam research, uh, including we want to know um, how this marker work in clinical practice. Uh, one of the things we can do is that we can do a secondary analysis uh, with some of the ongoing trials. For example, the TARVER unload trial, which is examining uh, the effectiveness or benefits of um, uh, TARVER intervention in patients with moderate AS. Uh, we would also need to check um, uh, this in a more, uh, basically in a perspective settings, and we're hoping to obtain the more specific endpoints, such as uh, uh, major adverse cardiac events or cardiovascular mortality, which was not uh, really available on this uh, retrospective study. And uh, uh, those endpoints could be more relevant uh, to OCMAP. I would like to invite you to read this article in more detail in the upcoming October issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org.
There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.